Growing up, like when I was a little girl, I think the first thing that really struck me was cinema. And fashion, I was always into fashion. I was always into dressing up and changing my look all the time, something I don't do anymore. But um, So from the beginning, I think I always loved the two things. I make little lo-fi films, but my festival, uh, which is more about intimacy and contact, the content and the contact, than about high production value. Yeah, I made a film, I don't know if you saw it, on uh, the most famous corset maker called Mr. Pearl. And Mr. Pearl is somebody who you can't show on camera. I showed his shoes once. You couldn't show anything of him. But he's very open in what he says. He's the one that made the corset for Dita Von Teese when she married Marilyn Manson. So it was just little documentaries. But my film festival is not essentially about documentaries. It's the diversity of ways you can express fashion. It can be a documentary, it can be an animation, it can be a fiction. It can be just art plastic. It can be made with a mobile phone, or it can be, you know, made with a film camera, so. And that's why another point of why I like fashion films is because anybody can communicate, and it's up to your budget. You could do it if you have an idea, if you have a talent, if you have something to say. Um, you can get your point across, and you can get a point across to so many people. I think it's the intimacy that I like. It's the same thing I like about films, the films I make, little films. It's intimacy, and in a big catwalk show there is no intimacy. It's a spectacle, which when it's done great, like uh, McQueen when he, before he killed himself, or. Galliano before he shot himself in the foot, you know. They were two sheer geniuses for show productions. Victor and Rolf, this season not particularly, but in the past, really great showmen. And of course, Rick Owens and Jun Takahashi normally when he does a show. They have some real emotion that passes. It's not just, I don't know, I'm not cynical about it, but I'm not so sure it's making sense with our times. The reason with my blog that I'm, I'm really um, promoting young talents, whether they're artists, musicians, designers, or filmmakers, is because I know when you're an independent, because I was an independent designer, how difficult it is, and because I've also worked for other magazines, I know you're restricted who you can promote based on advertising. And so, with my blog, it's not about that. Not that I have any, uh, not that I'm opposed to having advertising, <laughs> but it's just I want to promote people purely on talent. You know, like the winner of my film festival this year is from Riga. How many people are thinking about Latvia? And yet, with jury members like Mike Figgis and Michael Nyman, and Elizabeth Kahn is one of the biggest film critics here. That film got it almost hands down. It's great, you know. And that's what interests me, finding talent wherever it exists and giving it a platform. Mm -hmm.